One way to stay young and to hold back the aging process is to avoid excessive exposure to stress. Now, stress is part of everyday life and some stress is actually good for you. You know, let's face it, life would be pretty bland without some stress to add a bit of spice. But when things get out of hand, excessive stress can have profound effects on both your physical and psychological well-being. If all isn't right on the inside, that's often reflected on the outside. And in many cases, that causes you to look older than you really are. And there are two ways of coping with excessive stress. First of all, you can deal with the stress and find ways of overcoming it, or better still, avoid it altogether. Now let's look at how you can deal with the stress. And the best way to deal with stress is just to relax. Now, relaxation is different for different people. Why do some people age faster than others? And that's a question that has perplexed many people for many, many years. For example, all the people on this website were born in 1951, and that makes them pensionable age in most countries in the world. Yet, as you can see, some of them have uh, stood the test of time much better than some of their peers. Now, why is that? Well, a lot of it is down to genetics. If your parents and grandparents aged quickly, then it's likely that you will too. And, frankly, there's not much you can do about that, other than grow old gracefully. But the converse is also true. If your parents and grandparents look youthful, then chances are that you will too. Lifestyle also plays a role in how quickly you age, and you can change that. Smoking, for example, changes the skin, teeth and hair in ways that can add years to your looks. It also affects everything from your fertility to the strength of your heart, lungs and bones. In fact, a recent study of twins, where one twin smoked and the other didn't, showed considerable differences in appearance. And in some cases, the twin who smoked looked up to five years older than the twin who didn't smoke or who hadn't smoked for as long. And differences included more sagging of the upper eyelids, baggier lower eyelids and bags under the eyes. They had more facial wrinkles, including lines between the nose and mouth, wrinkling of the upper and lower lips, and sagging chins. And signs of aging were most pronounced on the lower parts of the face. So, if you don't want to appear old before your time, quit smoking. Or better yet, don't start smoking at all. Exposure to sunshine is also a factor. The UV rays from sunshine can cause irrevocable damage to your skin. Now, of course, there's not much you can do about that if you live in a hot country where the sun shines all the time. Uh, you're going to have to go outside at some point or another and you're going to be exposed to the sunshine. But you should limit the exposure as much as possible and wear sunscreen or sunblock and the higher the factor, the better. And a tanning bed or sun lamp can be even worse because you're exposed to the uh, ultraviolet rays all the time. Uh, at least when you're sunbathing, sometimes the cloud comes over the sun and you're in a bit of shade. But when you're using a sunbed or you're using um, a tanning bed or a sun lamp, then uh, you're exposed to it all the time. And some of these sun beds, of course, you're being exposed all the way around your body at the same time or as of course when you're sunbathing just uh, lying out on a towel or on a sun lounger uh, the sun's only hitting one half of your body at the same time so of course the message is stay out of the sun if you want to keep young the work you do can also leave its mark on your appearance if you work outdoors, you're going to get more exposure to the sun compared to people who work indoors. 
but there are other forces at play as well. If you have a very stressful occupation, it can cause you to age very quickly, sometimes by as much as a decade. And just look at how quickly politicians age when they're in office. I mean, for example, look at these two photographs of US President Barack Obama. You can see the one on the left was taken when he was running for president in 2008, and the one on the right is a more recent one taken in 2016. And you'll notice that he has aged quite considerably. His hair's gone grey, he's got deep lines round his eyes and round his mouth and on his brow, his skin's got paler and so on. But of course, uh, Obama has actually fared quite well compared to some of his predecessors. Uh, viewers who are old enough to remember Jimmy Carter will know that he aged, gosh, must look about 20 years older uh, by the end of his presidency than he did at the beginning. And he was only president for one term. But of course, it was all the extra stress of an imploding economy. And then, of course, the Iran hostage crisis that dogged the last half of his presidency. And he had a lot of stress and he looked much, much older by the time he left office than it was when he began. So stress does play a factor in how you look. And that's because chronic stress accelerates premature aging by shortening DNA telomeres. And a wide range of studies have shown that the stress caused by things like untreated depression, social isolation, long-term unemployment, anxiety attacks, and so on, can speed up the aging process by shortening the length of each DNA strand. And that's according to the people at Psychology Today. And your job might also expose you to toxins. Now, this could be because you work with hazardous material, or it could be that there's background pollution or background radiation, that sort of thing, in your workplace. So if you know you're going to be working with hazardous or toxic materials, then be sure to wear the appropriate protective equipment. Now, in most countries, your employer has a duty of care to provide this. And if they don't, then it's a worthwhile investment for you to actually go out and buy it and pay for it out of your own pocket. But if you find that your job is making you sick, and that's something else that can aid you, quite frankly, you're better off finding another one. And these are just some of the factors that mean that some people age quicker than others.